morning guys, happy Halloween. It is Monday, October 29th, and I'm on my way to my internship. It's currently 7.58 and I'm pulling up right on time. So after my internship, I came to Hotworks, which is this new workout place near UCF. Basically you sit in saunas, the virtual instructors, and my class is about to start. Um, so like, I don't know, I feel like it's nice because First of all, you're burning like almost double calories because you're like sweating so much. Yeah, and you don't I have to be embarrassed of people watching you. I'll talk more about it like later on in the week or probably, but my class is starting, so maybe. and it is 64 degrees outside and it feels so nice it feels like a perfect fall morning like not too cold like you can bear it but it feels so so nice outside and now like on the way to my internship the sun is rising so I don't know it's just like a it's just a nice thing but we are filming today so hence like the fall slashes and like the full glam today I honestly love fall slashes especially when I'm filming anything or like taking pictures for anything because it makes such a big difference they're honestly probably not the best because I'm still practicing even though like I've gotten a lot better I can do it like way faster now but I still need like an extra like 30 minutes just for error for my lashes Later on tonight, we have a social, so I'm very excited about that. The theme is Purge. I've never seen a Purge movie though, so I'll show you guys what I'm wearing later, but I hope it's like Purge. I didn't buy a mask because I knew I wasn't actually gonna like wear it the whole night slash hold it. So like if I need a picture, I'll probably just like borrow someone else's. Here at the student union it is currently 10 54 and we started filming at like 10 um and our first location was the student union so it's been about an hour we're almost done here and then we have a bunch of other places to go to so we'll probably be done by three but we're filming a video about like study spots resources and study tips and all that stuff so should be fun Alright, so I'm here in the student union still, Hello. and I found a subscriber! Hello everybody, I'm Jericho, and I, I'm a night like snow. Yes, Thanks. charge on! Charge on, go night! Yes! So we were filming two videos today, and we're on to our second one, which is our Thanksgiving video, and we're asking people what they're thankful for, and we just need one more person! One more! One more, and we're trying to get someone so bad so we can go, but... No one's budging. <laughs> I just got done with my internship and I'm done for the week. Like I said, tonight we have a social, so I'm actually gonna take a nap because I've been up since like 6.30 and I need sleep before I stay up really, really late tonight. Cause usually I don't do that and like I'm not used to it. So I wanna be fun and I wanna be prepared. So I need to like hydrate and sleep. So peace out for now. <laughs> so we're getting ready for the social and Megan is definitely more purgy than me. So I'm just wearing this top and I'll have my whole outfit like below because it's all new. So honestly, I don't know where everything is. It's either Boohoo or Nasty Gal, but like I said, I'll have the links down below. So I'm wearing this little lingerie bodysuit and then this jean mini skirt, which fits really, really nicely. And then this belt, I, I actually got this belt on Amazon and then my booties. I don't really know where these are from because I got these last year, but yeah, this is my outfit for the night. I know. <laughs> to make sure that there's an ox court and a working bathroom. And whichever one has the ox court and the working bathroom, that's the senior boss. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Halloween. It is October 31st and I am here at Venus Threading in Oviedo and I'm gonna get my brows threaded. I didn't realize they were this bad but they're like super super grown out right now so 
I need to get them done before the holiday festivities. Also, I have no brow pencil right now, so I've been using my dip brow, which is, like, very janky, and, like, I don't know, I mix some oil with it, so, like, my brows look oily when I use it. It's just funky, so I definitely need to get a brow pencil today. I'm gonna go to Ulta, maybe. So my brows are done. They look so good. My lady was there, so if you guys ever go to Venus Threading, go to Layla and call to see if she's there because now she's not there as often um, because I just found out she's opening a coffee store right next to Venus so that's really exciting for her but I'm really hyped because she literally knows exactly like what I want I've been going to her for like maybe three years now so, so it's always nice to have your eyebrow lady back so right now I think I'm gonna go to Publix or any um, store around here because I need to get a baguette. I don't think I told you guys what I'm gonna be for Halloween yet but basically I'm gonna be like a French girl and hold a baguette and be like, let's get this baguette, you know? So I'm basically being a phrase, but that's what my mind could come up with this Halloween. So at least it's kind of different and not super basic. So I got my nails done. I did a spooky color for Halloween. I normally just stick to nudes, but today I was inspired to go a little bit darker. This is an OPI color, but I totally forgot to see what the name was, so. So I just got to Waterford and I'm about to go into Ulta. I don't really have that much time to look around, which is good because I feel like when I do have too much time, I buy way too many things that I really don't need. Um, but it sucks because I have 20% off, so I feel like I should get more than just a brow pencil, but whatever. I'll try to walk out with just that. But I have to be at the airport by 3 because I'm picking up the LDC, which is the Leadership Development Consultant, I think that's what it's called, from Katie Nationals. She's coming to visit our chapter for the weekend and just meeting with like all the positions. So I'm going to have a meeting with her and go to dinner and lunch with her one day. And basically she's just here to like give us advice and like help us through like a certain specific topic. So our topic I think is like transitions because our council transitions are coming up which is sad because I'll be out of council after two years. It's going to be so weird, but I'm slightly excited because <laughs> I'm just ready to explore new things for me. My car is super dirty right now, so I clean it out, but I'm going to vacuum a little bit. Ew, that opened. <laughs> um, I'm going to vacuum like my floor because it's really, really gross. So... <laughs> I'm all dressed up for Halloween and this is my little French girl outfit. So I got this beret on Amazon and I'm actually obsessed with it. I really want to wear it a lot when I go back to Georgia in like the cold and just be all cute. And maybe it'll snow, I don't know. And then I got this bodysuit on Amazon and it's actually pretty thick, very, very comfortable. These jeans are Levi's, high-waisted black jeans. This belt is from Amazon and these shoes are just some cheetah print flats that I don't even know where I got it. They're so old. And then I got this baguette from Publix. I wish they had like a shorter one so I wouldn't have to carry around this long thing, but oh well. Princess. I was filming my pumpkin carving video, so I just kept it here for pics for tonight. Oh yeah, that looks yeah. good. Wait, is it look? Yeah, it looks good. Oh my god, your eyes are freaking scary. <laughs> So we are going to order our Lyft slash Uber slash ghost slash ghost. <laughs> Uber's bad, Lyft is ghost. So if you want a bat, use my code Charlotte. <laughs> use my code Dorothy10 to get a bat on your <laughs> The next day, it was so moldy. That's so sad. <laughs> and happy November 1st. It is Thursday. We actually have a UCF game today, but I'm calling it quits. I need to chill for the day and I also have a lot of work to get done. So I need to edit 
the video gig that I did in Tampa and then I need to edit my video for today because it's posting day and I'm so I'm getting really bad at that like I'm procrastinating so bad with my own videos and like then I stress on the day that I'm supposed to post them which is super bad and I really need to stop doing that but I think after this um, video gig's done, I think I should be back on schedule because obviously I'm gonna prioritize what I'm getting paid for on top of just like my YouTube videos. Good morning guys, it is Friday. Yesterday I vlogged and I said I was gonna go to Hotworks, but you know, your girl felt lazy and I honestly truly think that if I don't go in the morning that I'm never gonna go and I was planning on going at 4 and I already thought I was like mm, that's really late for me but yeah so I ended up not going just because I felt like I had a lot of work um, and honestly I felt like I didn't do anything the whole day yesterday like I was in bed just like chilling or whatever but I finished my apartment complex video and then I also edited and uploaded um, a video for my channel but yeah so i decided not to go to the gym and then i chilled out watched carrie diaries the whole night and it was just a good night i feel like every month you need to have just like one day of being like super duper lazy although i wasn't because i got a lot of work done yesterday but like i still was in bed and just like felt really lazy so i'm glad i had that day to do that because now today is gonna be like not busy but like at least i have like a lot of stuff going on like you guys saw um i picked up the ldc which is the leadership development consultant from capitals and nationals um and we actually have our meeting today and we're going out to dinner so i have to choose a really good dinner place which is a lot of pressure because you know when you're trying to show people around like your city i feel like it's so much pressure so i'm gonna have to look on yelp later right now i am going to go to hotworks i'm in my car got my bag got my hotworks mat and everything so I'm going to start with rowing and this is the sauna it has like infrared heating so I think it's different from uh, most saunas but over here as you can see it's like 126 that's how hot it is so you can always like increase it or decrease it all of these rooms are virtual instructors so it's just a little tiny box and you just watch this video and kind of do your workout um, and it's nice because like you don't have to be like embarrassed to work out in front of everyone like in a workout class but I also find that like because no one's staring at me I feel like I don't have to go as hard so like it's a pro and a con honestly but literally you can just sit in one of these saunas and burn so many calories like it's so awesome because like you don't really have to do much and sometimes like I will literally just like sit there and plan my Instagram posts and be burning calories so it's really cool. I have burned 42 calories in 6 minutes just like from being like here which is kind of like a lot I would think um, but my class is starting soon. I'm going to try to videotape as much as I can. So obviously my first couple of times I listen to the video and they say like raise the tension, lower the tension, all that kind of stuff. But after you kind of get the hang of it, it says it on the screen like low tension or high tension. So you can listen to your own music um, because it's pretty much the same video every single time. So it will probably get repetitive. total calories so far and I've been in hot works for like 30 minutes now before I did the cardio which was 15 minutes I just did like some arm weights in the back which is in the sauna room it's actually disgusting how much I sweat in hot works like all of my body is just like wet and it's like the most weird feeling ever but it's worth it to be gross because I know I'm like you know burning calories and like actually getting a workout in like I think I've only been like maybe five times four times and I feel so much more like fit already which is insane and I'm probably just gonna take a shower here because like I don't like going home and taking a shower because like once I leave the gym I want to be done comment down below if you guys take showers at the gym or just wait till you get home to take a shower Hey 
guys, I think I'm gonna call it quits for today, or at least in the sauna because it's getting way too hot. They say you're only supposed to be in the sauna for like 60 minutes, and I just hit 60, and I'm at 464 total calories. So I might do some stuff out there in like the non-sauna part because I don't know. I just want to do some arms, but I don't know. I can't be in a sauna anymore. It's getting too hot. So I just ate meal plan, and I'm going out tonight. So I wanted to do a little routine of getting ready for going out tonight and it starts at 1 p.m. <laughs> I literally have to be so mentally prepared for like going out but I'm gonna wax my face today obviously I don't do this every time I go out because like I wouldn't have hair but it's been a while there's like a good hair patch do you see it though like you can see if I look it. really up close I would never have noticed it though otherwise yeah so like I hate I hate this hair and like this peach fuzz so I wax it and this is the wax stuff I use I think I got it on Amazon it's the GG strip free microwave hair removal wax so basically you just like put it on it with a popsicle stick and then you just rip it off like it's so easy so the only hard part is applying it where it needs to be applied and then my skin also gets sensitive sometimes like sometimes I'll break out and just like weird bumps but not like too bad like I know it's gonna go away so you know I think it's worth it to be like hair free so once it hardens which takes like maybe 30 seconds to a minute you just peel it off but honestly I like to let it like sit for more than a minute so I'll just go ahead and like put wax on the other spots in my face and then do you know do a little multitasking and she's gonna let me rip one off yes Megan's here <laughs> she's gonna be my assistant for today it's always better to apply it thick just so you can have like more to rip off because if it's thin then it's not going to rip off like all at once it's going to like crumble and stuff so definitely want to do a thick coat uh, like it okay you want to do it yeah do this one first do so i go this way or this you way? like kind of like so pick it with your nail yeah and then try to like roll it a little bit to get like all clumped up you know and then you can rip it. Okay, right, so wait, wait, I'm just gonna get it. You need to tighten my skin. You need oh. to, what do you mean? How do I tighten like, it? Like, hold, hold it with this thumb like that. Okay, then, ready? Yeah. So it's enough lifted, right? You think no, no, no. No? You can you get it lifted and ready? Okay. <laughs> Ow. I don't like when other people do it. I think it hurts less when I do it. Do you wanna do it? No. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Just do it fast. That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. But look, look how much hair. That's a lot. Yeah. They're like so thin now. Yeah, but like, yeah. Two, come on. Oh, this you is not fun. <laughs> oh my really? god. Really? Oh, I feel like this is a painful Go. spot. Oh. <laughs> I love when I have clean sideburns. It's like my favorite thing. <sighs> mm hmm. That was a lot. See, I'm telling you. And see how be much better it looks though? It's clean. So my face is all waxed and ready to go. I'm gonna do a mask right now because I know my skin gets really sensitive and like, I don't know if you can see, but it's really, really red up here. So I'm gonna do this mask from Dr. Jart and it is the Brightening Solution. And this is just the sheet mask. It's not the rubber mask because I don't really want to waste that just yet. Like I want to wait for like semi or something like that. And this is my first time using one of their sheet masks. So I hope it's as good as their rubber masks because I definitely think these are a lot cheaper. I think the rubber masks are like 12. These might be like six to eight, but we'll see how this does. It already feels way more high quality than the ones that get on Amazon. Does it smell good? Yeah, and then like the, the fabric is like not just like paper. Like it feels like a material, like a cloth almost, which is nice. This is huge. Very high quality, I already feel it. All right guys, so there's these, <laughs> there's these red reusable cups at Starbucks and if you go, go and buy one today, then you get like 50 cent like refills on like, I don't even know, like holiday drinks or something. So hello. You look like the most basic white girl. <laughs> Going to Starbucks in my sheet mask. I look so just. <laughs> Well, I don't even know what happened. Yeah. Well, it said 10 to 20 minutes. So, okay, what is wrong with this mask? And then all this hair gone. The chin. They expect someone to have a big ass chin. So Ryan was the one that told me about these cups. He like sent me the email, and then I like freaked out, and I was like, 
I, th I honestly thought it was just happening in Georgia for some reason because I was like, whoa, that's such a good deal. Um, but basically you get like a red reusable cup and you get a holiday drink in it. And then every day after 2 p.m. or something, you can get a holiday drink in it in that cup for 50 cents or something like that, which is such a good deal. So um, Ryan was going to try to get one. But then since I heard that they were sold out of like the ones across from campus, I was like, I was trying to frantically call him because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's probably going to be sold out in Athens. And so of course it's sold out there. So I'm going to try to get him one too. So I was planning on keeping this on if we got drive through abilities, but it's way too, it's way too long in there. So I'm going to have to take it off, go inside. Feel glowing. It actually smells really good though. I'm a little bit frazzled as you can tell. Y'all, I went through all this trouble thinking it was literally 50 cent drinks at like after 2 p.m. But apparently it's only 50 cents off and I got the last red cup and I was like literally like give me two please like I need one for that like whatever like so I need two and now it's just 50 cents off. It's so like not even I could I'd rather That's what I was a little confused by it. I was like okay. I didn't have to do all this. And then I and then you have to wash it. And yeah. And then you gotta like and you have to remember to bring it and yeah. wash it. Yeah, it's just like not worth it. So guys, was it worth it to hustle over here? I don't know. I will update you guys during holiday season if I actually use this thing. It's funny, it looks like you're like a news person because like I have Starbucks logo in the background. Like you look like you're doing like a report. Starbucks right now. <laughs> yeah, um I got the creme brulee one and it tastes like the regular white mocha, so I don't know. And honestly, I think they just called it creme brulee because they did the salt topping and like whipped cream. Can you tell them vlogging, sir? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I don't think it's that much different from the white mocha, which I usually get. So like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. The next part in getting ready is blowing drying my hair. I don't do this every single time, but now that my hair is short, I feel like it looks better. Or like it looks better when it's clean that day because it's just more voluminous but when my hair is longer it styled better dirty so now i have to i have to do blow dry it more often <laughs> My hair is all done and now I have to put on makeup. I'm currently watching the James Charles X Morphe reveal and like, damn it, here's another palette that I really don't need but I really want because it's like crazy colors. Not that I like even used crazy colors but my goodness, like I just want every Morphe palette there is just because I feel like they're so nice. They're so good for the price. My foundation is going on literally so smooth because I waxed my face. It's like, damn, my sideburns are like so fleeky right now. I also need to get a different shade of this foundation. It is the Pro Glow um, L'Oreal Infallible. It's a little bit orange, but I mean, honestly, my arms are a lot darker than my actual face. So like it ends up like blending in. All right, guys, so I'm all done getting ready. Makeup's done, hair's done, outfit is picked out. This is like a Lizzie McGuire top. It was in, no, it wasn't in the haul, but I will link it down below. It's from Nascal or Boohoo, one of those. It's currently 4.53 and my meeting with the LDC is at five. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go down there just to be a little bit early. And then I'm taking her to dinner afterwards. I'm not sure where we're going. So I need to figure that out because Tori's gonna come with us and she's like my PR assistant, so should be fun. So I went to my meeting and dinner with the LDC and it went really well. And now we're gonna go out downtown celebrating Char Char Charlotte's boyfriend's birthday. When is his birthday? Not November today. 14th. But they're celebrating like two or three birthdays that are in okay. November. I was like, so they like, celebrate mine. No, so it's like a joint thing. Oh, okay. So that's why they're doing it so early. Well, should be fun, should be fun. Do these look cute or no? Yeah, they're, they're cute. I look, I look like a cowgirl. <laughs> Flare no, jeans and boots. It's cute. <laughs> We're downtown at Pop Parlor. Here's my three thoughts. Thank you, Sorkin. 
and she took, just took our pictures on this trendy green wall located at Pop Parlor. <laughs> Oh, you guys are like, yeah, I'm going to